was. Why? <laughs> I don't know. This ain't nothing new. <laughs> All right, here you are, little lady. You're not introing? Oh, yeah, I yeah. am. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the first to question. <laughs> so, over the years, you have seen every single person get asked questions by me. But now it is officially my turn, and my beautiful girlfriend here is going to be asking me <laughs> questions. Questions. Lucky me. <laughs> so, I went on my Instagram and asked people to ask questions to ask me. If that made sense. Perfect sense. We got a butt ton of questions. I haven't looked at any of them. And I haven't looked at many either. So it's gonna be a surprise for both of us. So we're gonna go through and hopefully we got some bangers. <laughs> All right, let's do this. How big is it? <laughs> <laughs> okay, do you see yourself building a future with me? We're starting out small. Okay, yeah, I do. Do you? Yeah. Sure? <laughs> People who don't date for marriage is crazy work. It seems like the biggest waste of time. Of Bruh, course do. do we kiss on the lips? No. Kiss on the lips? That's disgusting. I'd rather die. They're asking me questions. When did you know you were first in love with me? Ooh, that's a good question. Well, here's the thing. Okay, listen. Most of the time, I would never really go on any dates. Like, a first date was already very rare. So we were talking for about a six months. Time. About six months before we ever officially started hanging we out. We weren't like talking. We would text here and there. We were never like talking. We would just we never text hung back out. and forth. Right. And so we went out and instantly on the first date, I was already <laughs> interested. And I knew I was going to have to lock in real quick. <laughs> and then after that, things happened pretty freaking fast. Yeah. Very we fast. We fell for each other very fast. We hung out like every Saturday for a couple of weeks. And then from there, it basically was every day. Yeah, literally. It happened pretty fast. But to answer your question, almost immediately. I love you. That was <laughs> Would you say you two are sex maniacs? <laughs> no. Yes. You cut. <laughs> Find the full uncut version. <laughs> Bro, this is kind of scary in this seat. What body part of yours do I like the most? Is that correct? Oh, yeah. My arms. Mm-hmm. And your shoulders. My arms and shoulders. 100%. She always goes, flex. <laughs> Show me your arms. <laughs> really? You <laughs> had to tell him that? I like it. It's cute. I do like it. I do ask him daily. <laughs> she likes my arms. 100% that's what she likes most. If I put on a lot of weight, would you still be with me? Oh, that's a good question. I would, yes. Would you stay active and stuff? So, like, we always are doing activities. Say I just, like, gained 50 pounds. I don't know what they mean by a lot of weight. But you're still, like, active and stuff? Yeah. Like, we're still doing the same activities. But I it's don't not look like... as good. I'm fat. <laughs> <laughs> you still Be so good. Honest. But we're still doing everything, right? Uh-huh. Then, yes, I would still care. I would still be with you. <laughs> but you wouldn't think I was hot. I would still think I was hot. <laughs> but if it made it so it's like, you don't Oh, do I don't want to leave the house, then you'd be like, bro, you and gotta... And I'm like this, then I'd be like, yeah. that's pretty hard, yeah. But just looks wise, 100%. <clears throat> do you get me flowers or chocolate? Oh, flowers all day. Yeah. Dude, literally flowers right now. New, fresh ones. Let me show them. I got her some flowers yesterday, as a matter of fact. Look at how beautiful. I am the luckiest girl alive because... It's all the time. And I love them all the time. Yeah, she's a flower girl, 100%. Oh, yeah. And then it's like a stress thing for me because then I got to set up my bouquet perfectly. Oh, and let me tell you, setting up her bouquet, it's an hour-long task. <laughs> it definitely is. 100%. <laughs> what are your pet peeves about me? <laughs> Oh, frick. I might have asked this question to you one time, huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, I know what it would be, actually. Oh, gosh. 100%. I know exactly what it is, say it. At the same time? No. Just no, let's say it, it at is. the same time. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, rushing. Oh. Bro, no. you gotta say it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the same thing. What's yours? No, I don't know. I'll tell you later. Oh, that is a pretty big pet peeve too. Can we say that one? No. Okay, no. <laughs> <laughs> Loser. Okay, have you ever thought about ending our relationship? If so, why? No. I've not. That's one thing I've never done. I'm Because very... he knows I'll die. <laughs> yeah. I'm just kidding. I, I wouldn't be alive anymore if I did. <laughs> no, it's never once have I been like, oh, frick. I'm very right? confident in no, that relationship. Seriously. What did you find interesting in me? Well, very first thing I ever told her actually was how smiley she was. Okay, but besides that, because I think Fine. we said that last video. Did we actually? You said that last video. Why was I answering in the last video? Good question. Hello, Wuto. <laughs> <laughs> Get off the camera! Cut! <laughs> Wait, can we tell what happened? Alright, listen. 
<laughs> we tried giving him a haircut. <laughs> and bruh, we <laughs> No, Dude. that is so mean. You're Dude. still a handsome boy. It's harder than you would expect to cut an animal. Let's say it that. was impossible, but he had a grooming appointment Friday. <laughs> but in the meantime, mm, you're so cute. <laughs> I love you. In the meantime, that was stands <laughs> up. Uh, first thing I noticed about you, he was what? <laughs> first thing I noticed about you, wait, that I found interesting about mm -hmm. you, that you found interesting. We about had you. very good conversation, and I think that's very rare to find. We literally yeah. sat there and talked on our first date for like five hours. It felt like before a movie, like about everything. It wasn't even small talk. It wasn't like first date talk, but literally like crazy stuff every single thing and the conversation just flowed and flowed and flowed and like that's definitely I don't know. that's when we knew we clicked instantly instantly though like it was instant 100% an instant click uh, that's got to be the first thing what's your opinion on people who do only fans would you ever do only fans well i'll never judge someone for what they do i would never do it in my opinion i think it's dirty money I agree in some ways. I mean, mm -hmm. I could go into detail, but probably. Yeah, I, I mean, I think it's there's better ways to make money, and I think it's sad you have to sell your body in order to make money. But some people got to do what you got to do, yeah. and it just comes down to your beliefs and opinions. Um, what is a bad habit you want to break? Ooh, bad. <laughs> Guess who asked that? Who? My mother. Oh no way! Yeah. I wonder if she's gonna watch this. I know. Hi, Brisa. Hey, mama. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, bad habit I want to break. Oh, I know what it is. On days where I don't have to get out of bed instantly, I'll lay in bed on my phone. Oh, same. I was doing that this morning. <laughs> For what feels like forever. And it's just a horrible way to start the day. So that's one yeah. thing. But like on days where I have something I got to do, I'll get up. Mm -hmm. But otherwise, I'll stay sitting in bed for a while. Mm -hmm. So that's one bad habit I want to break right now. Who does most of the cooking? Dude, I cook every freaking meal. <laughs> Just kidding. I think um, since we've been together, I've cooked maybe zero meals. One meal. He's cooked one. What I cook? Literally one. You made me French toast one morning. In That's bed. it. I made her French toast in bed, but that is it. But, did but I do. He does the dishes. I do the dishes, and I'm sous chef. I'll get her supplies, <laughs> <laughs> and I'll be there for moral support. But other than that, I don't cook. I'm not okay. very good, but I would like to get good at cooking. When we have kids. When? <laughs> what would we name the boy and the girl? Oh, Croy! <laughs> Dude, I Dude. hate that name. Okay, no. listen. I came up with his name, Croy. And I have From freaking... LaCroy, the drink. LaCroy, the drink. You know the freaking sparkling water drinks? Croy, <laughs> C-R-O-I-X. I freaking love it. And everyone's like, oh, that's such a weird name. It's freaking hard. And I guarantee you, I guarantee, no, heck no. He's not gonna get bullied. Everyone's gonna freaking love it. Oh, that's such a cute name. Girl name, Bea. He loves that. It was my idea. It was her idea. I'm and now, I'm leaning towards other right, things. She, start, she gives me a name. And I start like, okay, I like that name. And then she switches on it. I got time to decide. And I, I stay pregnant. true to that freaking thing. <laughs> but June, oh my gosh. I love the name June for a girl. Isn't I, it cute? It is cute, but I still like Bea June. the best. Bea is a super cute name. But even like Bea Faye. See? That is hella good, like Bea Faye. Bea Faye Johns. <laughs> Bea Faye Johns. <laughs> Croy. Croy Steve Johns. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, wait, we gotta go. Right. <laughs> Both of our dad's names are freaking Steven. <laughs> so, uh, Lowering no, no. son's middle name is gonna be Steve. Steve. <laughs> We can't miss the opportunity. Okay. Let's be real. Thoughts of proposing to me? <laughs> <laughs> Time will tell. <laughs> I'll have to kidnap you and keep you in my basement forever. When the time is right. <laughs> when the time is right, I'll say that. What did I do to catch your attention? Mm. Well, very first, we met on Tinder, obviously. Dark no. time in my life. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> no provocative images. No. At what all. The hell? So that's that already stands out. Really? Uh huh. And then her conversation, even over text, we had pretty good conversation, right? <laughs> yeah, because I don't know. I don't but know. it was it's so on and off. It's about stupid stuff. Dude. Yeah. It wasn't like, what are you doing? No, it was like, I remember one time we gave each other room tours. 
We Do did? you remember that? No. We gave each other room tours. We like, sent each other that. videos of our room. No so, way. Yeah. <laughs> it's just we did a ton of little stuff like that. I think it's just a ton of things that compounded on top of each other. Mm -hmm. For sure. It wasn't like one big moment like, oh my gosh, but it was just so many little things going right. Is Carsey Poo a morning or night pookie? I'm a night pookie. <laughs> what is your favorite thing we've done together? Ever? Yeah. Oh, shoot. We've got a lot of things we've done together. Yeah, I know. Oh, man. Picking just one would be so hard because they're all so different. Mm -hmm. We are adventure buddies. We always say that. Yeah, we do do we so much stuff doing together. Stuff. And we'll literally complain. Man, we want to rest and have some free days, and then bam, yeah, we the weekend comes and it's this, 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 Literally this. The entire day. Or like, oh my god. Entire day scheduled out. All Favorite day. Thing, we though? leave the house at 10 a.m., come back at freaking 9 p.m. It's exhausting. Mm -hmm. I think favorite thing was probably hiking Hawaii. Really? That's got to be up there. Because think about it. Think of all the stuff that happened. We couldn't find the freaking entrance. Yeah, it was definitely quite the adventure. It was. And then there's a good destination to it. And then we're freaking jumping an illegal fence. That scared me. I was like, baby, back natural. Pretend like we haven't gone on the hike. Yeah, <laughs> I'm freaking fucking. <laughs> it does, it's got to so be up there. Scared. Hawaii hike was a fun one. Yeah. I'm going to say That's a good one. I'll say that one. But the reptile show was fun. Like, we've done so much stuff. Speaking of the reptile show. Do we get to introduce Pumpkin? Yeah. Okay. So, wait, what day is it? Two days ago, we went to a reptile show. We were holding a whole bunch of reptiles and stuff. That we were. And we ended up getting a little pet. <laughs> a little pet. Should we get her out? Do you want to get her out or just show the enclosure? No, let's get her out. You want to? Yeah. I actually don't. Spiders don't scare me. Did we say what it was? No! You no. <laughs> They don't scare me. We got a little tarantula. So she's a little juvenile right now. She's gonna get, why are you poking her still? Well, cause I'm trying to make sure she doesn't jump out. I'm scared. So that's a little lady. We'll throw up a little video of us taking her out the other day. But she's a I'm good little spider. Right she's now. a super nice little spider. She is very docile and like calm. What is the biggest thing you were looking for in a partner when you met me? I think someone with a similar idea of how they want their life to look in the future. Mm-hmm, that makes sense. Like even 10 years down the line, someone whose life, how they want it to look is very similar to mine. Because I think I knew the next relationship I would get into would be long-term, because I was very picky. So I think just making sure that 10 years down the line, it was a very similar outlook on life. And look who I found. My little twin. <laughs> Why do you think our relationship is so strong? Or what makes our relationship so strong? There's a lot that goes into it, but I think the number one thing that we have that most people struggle with is our communication. And I think how we view our relationship. I think most people, they are almost a little bit like jumpy in a relationship you know what do you mean to where they don't take the time to figure out the other person why they do stuff instead they just say if that other person doesn't fit me exactly and has the exact viewpoints as i do they're out of there mm -hmm. so i think that we both take the time to figure out each other and why we do things the reasoning behind everything we do that way we could get to know each other better. And yeah, I think also people are super critical of their relationship. Mm-hmm. Because like, of social media and crap. Like, judging the crap out of it, like, I don't know. Mm-hmm. I think we both feel like, oh, our relationship is amazing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, you can't judge your relationship and base it based off what you see on social media because you're seeing such a small sliver of people's lives. And most of the time, they're just filming mm -hmm. when they're in the best moods with each other when they're feeling the best and not every little detail behind it. Don't base love and your relationship off of social media because it's cat. Yeah, you know how many people told us the three month rule? So many people yeah, told bro. us about this three month rule like, oh, in three months, just wait till three months. 10 months deep and I'm like, <laughs> oh my gosh, a honeymoon face. <laughs> I mean, we're still very like, I mean, we've been dating for a minute, but like, yeah. 
years wise it's a short amount of time but for this generation it's a long time especially for people our age for sure mm -hmm. boom got him done baby so that's another asking like, questions comment, video. Like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> I'll see you next time. That's another asking question video. If you guys want to see more of these, let us know. <laughs> or any other videos you want to see in the comments below. Anything you want to see us do, let us know. Like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next subscribe. time. Subscribe. <laughs> Peace. <laughs>